First on Sunday and then on, on Monday, the global mean temperature has reached a new record that has exceeded the record set by the record breaking year of 2023. So we are in uncharted territory. And you know, like especially if you look at the uh, average over the year, this is probably the last twelve months have been the warmest twelve months in the last uh, hundred thousand years or thereabout. And what is driving it on one hand is the ocean, um, because the ocean is still a very, very warm. Uh, the, the Pacific is cooling down, but we have positive anomaly in the Indian Ocean, in the North Atlantic, in the Mediterranean, and so on. And more importantly, um, what's happening in Antarctica? So a good part of Antarctica is much warmer than usual uh, for this time of year. And so when you sum that up into the global average, this actually um, drives the average up. Now, if our goal is to keep, as we promised in the international agreement set in Paris in 2015, to keep the global temperature below 2 degrees and aspire to keep it below 1.5, well, this is not a good news because uh, in a sense over the last 12 months, uh, we have been already above 1.5. It's a slightly different definition. So we don't expect to, to actually breach the, the terms of the Paris agreement until the 2030s. But the more, uh, you know, with this warming that we have seen and that in all likelihood will continue in the next few months and, and years, well, we are approaching that limit. And, and so it becomes more and more urgent, if that's our goal, to limit the emission of greenhouse gases uh, to, if, if, if we want to maintain the planet within that bound. Is, is useful to understand how, how much and how fast the, the climate is changing. But ultimately, what is uh, biting us back is not the global mean temperature, because nobody lives in the global mean. It's really what's happening in our backyard, what's happening into our rivers, our mountains, and so on. 